गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज मिस सती जोसफ यू आर साइंस टीचर वेलकम बैक टू द ऑनलाइन टीचिंग फॉर द सेशन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी लेट एस कंटिन्यू विद द सेम चैप्टर दैट इज फोर्स एंड प्रेशर इन द प्रीवियस मॉड्यूल वी हैव लर्न द डेफिनेशन फॉर फोर्स and how a force can exert by one object on another object what is force force is a push or a pull which makes a motion in objects a force can exert by an object on another object when they are in contact today in this module we will learn what are the effects of force and what is contact force there are different effects of force we will see one by one the first effect of force is that it can change the state of motion the two states of an object are rest and motion when we apply a force on an object either it can start moving or a moving object can come to rest i'll explain this point with some examples while taking a penalty kick in football the player applies a force on the ball before hitting it yes, the ball is at a state of rest when the footballer hit the ball or kick the ball it starts moving suppose the goalkeeper dives or jumps up to save the goal by this action he tries to apply a force on the moving ball the force applied by the goalkeeper can stop or deflect the ball by kicking the ball the state of rest is changing into a state of motion and when the goalkeeper tries to apply the force the state of motion of the ball is changing into a state of rest from this observation we can conclude that a force applied on an object may change its speed if the force applied on the object is in the direction of its motion the speed of the object increases if the force is applied in the direction of opposite to the direction of motion then it results in a decrease in the speed of the object which means a force can either increase or increase the speed or decrease the speed another effect of force is that it can change the direction of motion of the object in cricket a batsman plays his or her shot by applying a force on the ball with the bat is there any change in the direction of motion of the ball in this cases yes the bowler bowls the ball in one direction 
when the batsman hits the ball the ball starts to move in the opposite direction so here the direction of motion of the ball is changing in this case you can see more examples from your everyday life a change in either the speed of an object or its direction of motion or both is described as a change in its states of motion state of motion of an object is described by its speed and the direction of motion the state of rest is considered to be the state of zero speed the object is at the rest its speed is zero an object may be at rest or in motion both are its states of motion thus a force may bring a change in the state of motion of an object it does not mean that the application of a force would always result in a change in the state of motion we can see some examples you are trying to push the ball does it move no it does not move in that case you are trying to push a heavy box will it move no it will not move that means many a time application of force does not result in a change in the state of motion a force can change the shape of an object let us see some examples what happens when you apply a force on an inflated balloon by pressing it between your palms what happens to the shape of a ball of dough when it is rolled to make a chapati what happens when you press a rubber ball placed on a table in all these cases you can see that when you apply a force on these objects its shape changes so we can conclude application of force on an object may change its shape can you give some more examples yes if you hammer a can its shape changes if you hammer a mirror it will break into different pieces in all these cases its shape shape of the object changes when you apply a force on it so we can recall once what are the effects of force a force may make an object move from rest it may change the speed of an object if it is moving it may change the direction of motion of an object it may bring about a change in the shape of an object it may cause some or all of these effects here one table is given studying the effect of force on objects fill this table we have already seen that an object can apply a force on another object when they are in contact these type of forces are called contact forces 
Let us see some examples for contactive forces. First one is muscular force. Generally, to apply a force on an object, your body has to be in contact with the object. For example, when we push an object like a school bag or lift a bucket of water, where does the force come from? Yes, children, this force is caused by the action of muscles in our body. So the force resulting due to the action of muscles is known as the muscular force. What is muscular force? The force resulting due to the action of muscles is known as the muscular force. Animals also use their muscular force to carry out their physical activities and other tasks. Animals like buffaloes, horses, bullocks, donkeys, camels, etc. are used to perform various tasks for us. In performing these tasks, they use their muscular force. This muscular force can be applied only when it is in contact with the object. So it is called a contact force. Another example for contact force is friction. Can you say why a ball rolling on the ground comes to rest after some time? Yes, it is because of friction. What is friction? It is an opposing force which reduces the speed of motion of the object. It is acting opposite to the direction of motion of the object. Another example, a car or a scooter comes to rest once its engine is switched off. In all these case, situations, no force appears to be acting on the objects, yet their speed gradually decreases and they come to rest after some time. The force which is responsible for changing the state of motion of objects in all these examples is the force of friction as I told you. It is a force of friction between the surface of the ball and the ground that brings the moving ball to rest. Similarly, friction between the road and the vehicles brings them to stop. Once you stop the engine, the force of friction always acts on all the moving objects and its direction is always opposite to the direction of motion. This is the end of today's module. Go through the portion, read it nicely. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. We will continue this chapter in the next module. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you.